All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today, look at this. I'm in the house with a one woo studio concussion cannon slider in Zerk here with me for a review. We're going to analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this pretty cool fidget toy. But hey, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this fella, which comes in a very cool, hard plastic case with two latches on uh, padded uh, internal uh, always check out that you're not missing any goodies like uh, stickers in this case you get a tool to take it apart and extra screws if you are going to miss any of those and inside you're gonna find this thing which is gorgeous in this case you get the zirk polished let's quickly check the size of this big boy 2.5 inches for the height and the thickness is going to be at uh, uh, 1.13 uh, inches we're going to check real quick the weight uh, so the measurements are done look at this thing uh, overall this guy look at that 5.23 ounces not uh, a light one um i can uh, i can show you guys a couple of uh, uh, options just to give you an idea this is the choclic uh, from black mirror design uh, here you have your mahjong uh, slider uh, clicker kts helios uh, ratchet uh, lauti mini dealer uh, what else you want to see another black mirror design that's the telephone dial uh, of course you gotta see the milkia right there i mean you get the idea it is uh, not a tiny one uh, definitely it's um, a good one it's a cool one what is this this is a slider it has three states one two and three one two and three so there's no in between states and it's a very complex uh, uh, mechanism uh, but at the same time very simple um, so mainly three parts two like that like a chain link basically with a, a mid section right there where both parts can slide in and out um, and just of course getting close to this point this is the zirk version you can find the titanium and i believe this still but I'm not wrong. I'm not sure about that. Um, I was thinking these were like slot treats for treats vials, but they are actually not. Maybe you can do something small. I don't know if there's like anything that small that can fit in those. But anyways, this is a very cool one. You just hold it in one hand. And just play like that it is very heavy in the hand feels good uh, it has a very cool and futuristic look this is the cannon of course it's like a cannon concussion it's a slider it has like this um, loop over here which might be like for like i wouldn't use this as a keychain or something because of the weight but definitely has a lanyard hole uh, loop here you can use your paracord like a nice bead or something so you can decorate this guy uh, from the feel uh, department this feels like nice and heavy uh, the uh, texturing it's gonna help you to uh, you know with the, in the fidget uh, uh, <laughs> uh, action that you're gonna prefer to do um on this one and uh, but it, it has like a at least in my case a strange um a strange feel like because like the last one you see it, maybe i'm it's just me like I'm, I'm i'm pulling in the wrong direction but i feel a little bit more resistance at least if i hold it in this position otherwise it's very good and uh, the sound it's very pleasant of course you can be not loud so you can be um, mindful of other people which are probably not liking this click clack but you can do I see a very quiet fidgeting and um, and that's a very cool thing I mean this thing feels good in the hand maybe a little bit too heavy just for like a pocket toy definitely it's gonna look good as a desk uh, fidget you just hold it there you just play it a little bit like that and just put it back and you admire it because come on guys the design is pretty cool so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching stay tuned